This is King Moves, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Right now, it's time for us to have a conversation that's uncomfortable, but very necessary. But before we get started, this is no place to hate, only a place to educate, all right? No hating allowed, and nothing that's being said is coming from hate. Now, you may have noticed lately in the news, you've seen a lot of reports of our people having conversations and others are calling it hate speech. And I'm specifically referring to the anti-Semitic claims. This is a real problem, and let me explain why. In most cases, people are trying to have historical discussions, you know. And if you bring up a certain topic, some people just get upset. And you know what? That's not nobody else's fault. Stop being so sensitive and look at the truth. All right. But secondly, we got a lot of cases where people are actually calling out hate. Now, how can you be hating if you're calling out hate and discrimination and oppression? All right. So let's keep it respectful. Let's look at the real facts. And the biggest and the most important fact of this whole discussion is this. All of the original Semites or Semitic people who spoke the Semitic languages were Negroes or black, no matter how you slice it. So when you try to use a term like anti-Semitic, you first have to understand who are the Semitic people. So let's first start with Nick Cannon, you know, they didn't fired, Viacom and fired Nick Cannon because they said he made anti-Semitic statements, but is that really the truth? Because I think it was more along the lines of, he just talked about those money men, you know what I'm saying? Once you start talking about the money men, yo, they come and talk to you, good or bad. Let's take a look at what was actually said. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, um, all our fellow constituents of our community, our scholars, our master teachers, and of course, as I call myself a student, I am truly honored to have in Cannon's class a uh, brother that I've looked up to on so many levels, uh, from, from hip hop to uh, the conscious community to just true activism uh, in the streets. Uh, a a Scott probably one of the first scholars that I was ever introduced to, uh, with the 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 title professor in front of his name. <laughs> uh, I'm honored to have a legend in the building, Professor Griff. Welcome to Cannon's Peace. class. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, appreciate that. He's God. <laughs> Peace to the God. I'm a reflection of you. <laughs> This is one of the reasons why I feel honored to speak with you, but I feel like it's so prevalent and so on time is because what we're dealing with, with the Honorable Minister Farrakhan mm -hmm. being silenced on Facebook and other platforms. Right. Neutralized. Ne neutralized. Right. Which, which, which COINTELPRO is still active exactly. to this day. And COINTELPRO, for the young people that don't know, the counterintelligence program. And when you say counter, it's like because we have so much intelligence and information, they mm -hmm. want to counter that by destroying us exactly. by neutralizing us right. by silencing us so what we're speaking of today because they silent or they attempted to silence minister fair right right now mm -hmm. which is cointel pro actions and activations and they did the exact same thing to you why and this is just a question that i have and even coming from that aspect of mm -hmm. if the true children of Israel, if right. we're speaking of mm -hmm. the Jewish community, if we're speaking of the Abrahamic faith right. that Islam comes from, that Judaism comes from, that Christianity comes from, all comes from Abraham. Mm -hmm. And we are all speaking of brotherhood and unity. Why is this division? Why is it such a problem? Why is there so much fear, specifically in the black community, mm -hmm. in the Jewish community? Um, and and, I, and I'm kind of this is a leading question which I want to get to, but why is it such a problem to speak the truth? I think it's a problem. Not it became a problem for us because of the propaganda machine, but it's more of a problem for them right. because they've taken our birthright. Right. They, they don't want us to be them. Not deeper than that, they don't want us to be us. 
They don't want you rapping your head. They don't want. Wow. Nah, they don't. They don't. They don't want. Now because you recognize. Right. And now they identified you. Oh man, Nick knows. Right. Who he is, and then now, the flip side that you know who they are. Right. So let's look up the word anti-Semitic. Right. Who are the Semitic people, and then we're gonna get to the public enemy thing. Right. So I looked up who is the Semitic people, and there's a list of Semitic people, and anyone can do this right now. You can look up who are the Semitic people, what are the Semitic languages. Right. Has absolutely nothing to do with any white. Right. Professor Griff is absolutely right. You can always look up information. And like you said, you can look it up right now. And I'll show you a couple of different things that you can find because you know you have to check and verify what's being said. And you also should consider the sources of where you're getting your information from, you know? What kind of bias and all of those type of things. But here, let's check out what we find, all right? First up is Wikipedia. Semites, Semitic peoples or Semitic cultures, was a term for ethnic, cultural, or racial group. The terminology is now largely obsolete outside the grouping Semitic languages and linguistics. First used in the 1770s, and this biblical terminology for race was derived from Shem Hebrew, one of the three sons of Noah in the book of Genesis. Together, with the parallel terms Hamites and Jephthites, Jephthites. In archaeology, the term is sometimes used informally as a kind of shorthand for ancient Semitic speaking peoples. Now that's what Wikipedia had to say about it. Let's check out another source. Britannica, the world standard in knowledge since 1768, they say. They say Semitic. Semite, member of a people speaking any of a group of related languages, presumably derived from a common language. Semitic, see Semitic languages, the term came to include Arabs, Akkadians, Canaanites, Hebrews, Ethiopians, and Armenian tribes. So let's take a look at what those particular group of peoples actually look like. Okay, first, let's look at the Arabs. I mean, just check out these pictures. Look at these pictures. Look at the dates. These are Arabian people. And they also happen to be black or Negro, according to whoever you're speaking to. You know, so how is this even a question? I'm just, you know. All right, now let's look at the Acadians. Once again, check out this mask. Look at that. That's a black man's face. I mean, come on. Look at this. Look at those beards. You know, look, they tried to take off the nose. They always do that to black statues. That is a black man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now look at the Canaanites. Come on, y'all. This is, you know, <laughs> it's pretty obvious who these people are. What type of people these were. You understand? These were the Semitic people. All right? Understand that. And I don't see any light skin, bright skin, none of that. Everybody's pretty melanated, you know what I'm saying? Different shades of brown. Very melanated people, okay? All right. Now, let's take a look at uh, Hebrews, which I don't know how anybody could think anybody but black people were the Hebrews, okay? Just look at what they went through. All right, just look at these. Look at those beards. I mean, you, who has nappy beards? Look at these walls. Come on. These are the Hebrews, y'all. These are the Semitic, the Semite people. Okay? Understand the difference. Now, how about, um, how about the Ethiopians? Right. Now, check this out. This is cool. Okay, that's a structure that they built, a temple. That is the Queen of Sheba. She looks like a light-skinned lady with an afro. <laughs> you know, look at these people, man. All of these are Negro people, period. You know, how can you mistake them for anything other than that? Our Romanians. All right. Look, come on, y'all. 
I'm making my point yet. Y'all getting this yet? These are the Semitic people. These are those people. All right? So when you hear anti-Semitic, this is who you're saying you're anti. Remember that. Look at these folks. Come on now. Look at them. So the Britannica also had to say about the situation was by 2500 BCE, Semitic speaking peoples had become widely dispersed throughout the Western Asia. In Phoenicia, they became seafarers. In Mesopotamia, they blended with the civilization of Sumar. The Hebrews settled with other Semitic speaking peoples in Palestine. All right, so our people spread out and went everywhere in all directions. You know what I mean? And listen, these people don't want you to think about the fact that we weren't just in one place. We aren't just one type of people. We are all the original people all across the planet. And as long as they keep trying to deny that, the more they're going to keep being mad about what we have to say about ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? But in the meantime, people, we got to continue to learn and educate ourselves and each other and keep growing. So now let's go back to this part. So like I was explaining to you earlier, yeah, they said they fired him for anti-Semitic remarks. But as I just showed you, that's really not even logical or possible. I mean, you know, but what they really did fire him for is because he spoke up on the money men. Anytime you talk about those money men, behind the scenes men, people moving the chess pieces, yeah, that's when they come and get, they come in at you. So look, check out what Nick had to say on that level. So let's dive into it. <laughs> Who are they? When we when we speak of because this is where it truly is when we talk about those <clears throat> the, the, the six corporations, when we talk when we go as deep as the Rothschild, centralized banking, those the the, the, the thirteen families, uh the bloodlines that control everything even outside of America. When right. we talk about mm -hmm. the, the the people who if we were truly the, the children of Israel and we're defining who the Jewish people are because I feel like if we actually can understand that construct, then we can see that there is no hate involved. When we talk about right, right. the lies, the deceit, the how the, the fake dollar controls all of this, then maybe we can get to the reason why they wanted to silence you, why they want to silence mm -hmm. Minister Farrakhan, and they want to throw that. We are having hate speech when it's never hate speech, when it's not. Right. You can't be anti-Semitic when the Semitic, when, when we, we are the Semitic people. When we are the same people that you, who they want to be, mm -hmm. that's our birthright. That's our birthright. So if that's truly our birthright, there's no hate involved. It's not. How did this message get so misconstrued? When we went, we came back to claim it. Right. When we woke up and we came back to claim If you steal my bicycle when we were six years old <laughs> and you riding around the hood with my bike. <laughs> right. And now I'm 12 and I understand. I want my bike back. I want my bike back, man. <laughs> Now you're going to kick up dust. <laughs> right, right, back. right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And I'm brolic enough to get exactly. my bike back. I know some techniques now. <laughs> I want my bike back. Right. I'm coming to get my bike. You're going to kick up dust. You might even have enough um, prowess and cockiness right. and wherewithal because you've been driving, riding my bike around. You made connections now right. and convinced other people that that's your now bike. Now you got a couple of bikes. You got a whole gang. You exactly. got a bike gang. And I'm, I'm over here walking. Walking, right around. So now when I go get my bike back, yeah, you done painted the bike. You done put some new wheels on it. It really don't even look like it my don't bike. Look like my I know bike that's my no bike. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So now I'm waking up, and I'm like, bro, I need my bike back. Right. For real. Right. Uh, how do you know that's your bike? Simply because there's documents here. Now I want to talk about this young man, Deshaun Jackson, that plays for the NFL. All right, this is a different type of situation, but really it's under the same category because what he did was he shared a meme or, you know, something that has been said to be false or fake. But generally, the point of the meme was actually true. Now, I understand why some people may have took offense to it because of it having Hitler in it, okay? And believe me, I'm no Hitler fan. I'm no Hitler advocate. I'm not down with no Nazis or none of that kind of stuff. All I can say about the meme is this, you know, whoever put it out, 
it has factual information in it. Now, whether or not Hitler actually said it, that has remained to be proven. But let's check this out real quick. Groups condemn anti-Semitic social media posts by Eagles' Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson is apologizing for an anti-Semitic social media post that's garnering outrage from the community. Okay, well, you know, listen, this young dude is trying to learn something. You know, one of his friends spoke out, say, hey, you man's trying to learn. Well, let's read this post and see what was the damage. The post reads as follows. Hitler's Confessions. Hitler said, in his death, he will start World War III. One of his soldiers asked how. Hitler replied, the day mankind finds out what I was trying to defend Germany from, then that's the day World War III will start. For on that day, mankind will learn that I was trying to save my nation from the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Jews. For if Americans win the war, then they will conquer the world and forever be a slave to the Jews and they will try to conquer God. Do you know who America has in its possession? No, the soldier replied. The Americans have the jewels of God. The Americans have stolen God's precious jewels. What do you mean his precious jewels? The soldier asked. Hitler said, America has stolen the Jews. The Jews of God, his jewelry, the Negroes, they are the true Hebrews. Now, long story short, even if this is not real, what was said in it was absolutely true. I showed you that earlier in the film. So I just want to say this about Snopes, the fact checker, okay? You guys do what you do. But there's been times where I noticed that you call something fake that was absolutely real. In this particular instance, you're saying that there was never a book. Maybe there wasn't, but the substance is very real. So while y'all getting mad at Deshaun Jackson for sharing that, think about this. He didn't create it. It's been around for years. And the fact is, what was said was actually true. Now, whether Hitler said it, that may not be true. Whether it was in a book, that may not be true. We're not 100% sure. But all the same, this man has to keep his job. So I don't blame him for apologizing. So now we have to come back to the original question. Was Nick Cannon and was Deshaun Jackson being anti-Semitic? Were they speaking hate speech? I really, I can't say that they was, man. I'm going to have to go with, they were not hating. They were not being anti-Semitic. They were not promoting hate. They were discussing factual information from history that is being kept from us. So next time someone uses that word, anti-Semitic, remember this and remember who the real Semites were.